All right, y'all, we back like we never left. The video you're looking at right now is by Eminem Twins, right on Instagram. Yo, these guys are the best when it comes to foods around the world. They get it popping. They're chefs in their own right. They're doing it major. Be sure to follow my Instagram. I love the video. And since I'm doing the food review, I was like, I'm going to just showcase their greatness, mix it in with my greatness, and see what this tastes like. <laughs> Foodie fam, if there was ever a time for you guys to stop me from doing something, right now is that time. But before we get into the McDonald's Spam Oreo sandwich that was popping out in China, y'all go ahead and take a look at this Popeye's beignet action. Two videos in one. Sit back, relax, and comfortable. It's about to go down. It was mad huggy in here. I don't see them advertising beignets though, baby. Hello? One second, huh? All right. How can I help you? Yeah, do you guys have the beignets? Yes, I do. Can I get an order of them, please? No problem. How many do you want? Three, six, or 12? I'll take 12. 12 of them? No problem. Mm -hmm. Can I also have a large water? No problem. You can drive one up. All right, thanks. Mm. All right, fam. Let's see what these beignets are all about. Like I said, I remember them when I was in New Orleans. Hold on, wait. Are these a gangster? Hold on. Son, that's it. No powdered sugar on these joints. Strap for Popeyes. Hold on, time out, cuz. Powdered sugar comes on beignets. I don't see no powdered sugar, but strap for Popeyes. Where's my powdered sugar? Strap for Popeyes. Where's my powdered sugar? I don't know, family. Beignets normally have the powdered sugar booger over them heavy especially when you're in new orleans we all know that if you ever been to cafe du mundo du mundo du mundo, du mundo, du mundo whatever cafe, you know you'll find it you trust me look it up you find it you get beignets you can get it with a little bit of chocolate but it'd be mad powdered sugar booger over these joints mm. look a fried little bite of delight they're decent, but they need the sugar. They need the powdered sugar over. These just straight chocolate morsel bites inside of a fried dough shell exterior. I mean, it's soft. It's bossed up. It's flaky. It's everything it needs to be. And the chocolate is good. It's like a deep-rooted chocolate, too. Might be a dark chocolate with the flavoring on that. Flaky, kind of buttery a little bit but it's lacking the powdered sugar that could really set it off. And with the powdered sugar, I could definitely say these bites right here, family, banging out the frame, they could have got a four out the door. But just with the chocolate alone, this is a three. All right, y'all, we want to hold you, family. If you're ever wondering, it goes down real simple. Sesame seed bun action, mayo, Two pieces of Spam, not one but two, not one but two. And Oreo crumble all up off in the joint. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm about to taste it. Let me get my ghetto plate. I got my ghetto plate with my ghetto bib. I ain't gonna stunt, y'all. On first smell, look, I used to eat Spam back in the days. So I'm gonna sit here and act like, you know what I'm saying? I always had it like that, I did. Spam was a cheap, easy way to get your hungry on. Don't trip. Put some Spam up in between some Wonder Bread. Get a piece of processed cheese up off in here. And a little bit of mayo. You had yourself a little ghetto sandwich. Don't play with me. Don't ever play with me. But I never added Oreos a day in my life. So <sighs> let's go there. China, what you doing, China? This one's for you. And China only had this thing popping for like a day, I believe. It was the 21st. I believe they only had like 400,000 of these going out. And I believe they pretty much sold out of them joints. This, uh, I'm, I'm stalling, y'all. My bad. I'm stalling. You enjoyed this video, man? Come on, man. Show me love, man. Show me love. Hit it with a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Hit it with a thumbs down if you hate it. I, I get it, man. I'd hate this too. <sighs> happy holidays to everybody watching before Christmas. Happy New Year's and happy Kwanzaa. And then, All right, chill, chill. Cha.
Sean! Shauna! Shauna, why are you playing them games? Shauna! I'm going for one more bite, y'all. My stomach already hate me. <laughs> but I don't know where I'm at with this. Because as much as an acquired taste that comes with Spam and Oreo cookie crumbles, is it horrible? No. Is it something I do twice? Definitely not. But I will take a second bite. Hold up. Mm, there we go again. Definitely a love-hate relationship. Like, I love to hate it. But, like, why am I back for a third bite? Mm. You're so strange to me. You're so foreign. you crunchy, crunchy. And you soft and salty. And yeah, you got a little sweetness to you. You, you got a little sweetness too. I'm so mad at this right now, family. I'm mad at me and I'm mad at this spam Oreo sandwich that China got going on or had going on for the 21st. Look, the crunchiness of the Oreos, and you're gonna get a little bit of the cream on there too, right? Because you don't always get all the cream off. So if you like Oreos, you write yum, right? Okay, yum. The spam is what's gonna mess you up. Cause the spam, spam to begin with is all over the place. All right? <laughs> it's it's really all over the place. And that porked up love, just a little bit of reject. Spam got a got a taste of rejection. This taste of rejection in spam, but it holds you. Like when money's tight, spam does hold you, right? Greatest part of one's childhood is that is that spam sandwich. You know, it kind of lets you know that you didn't quite make it, but yet you weren't broke enough not to have nothing at all. You were still broke. So Spam was always that broke down ham. It just was. Spam was broke down ham, broke down bologna. It was just broke down meats, man. Just forgotten meats, but, you know, ground up all together just to fill up your stomach. And this is filling definitely. But China, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're going salty sweet on me. You're trying to go savory too, which got me messed up. Little bit of sesame seeds for a little extra pop. You getting freaky deaky? You couldn't just get regular bun action, huh, China? You wanted to get freaky deaky with sesame seed bun for a little extra bite bite on that. Little bite bite on that. But I definitely appreciate the fact that we're getting salty sweetness. I was salted. I want to call it salted sweetness is what I want to call it. And hinting, hinting towards savory, not quite there, but hinting, and yet giving you so much old school love in a single bite, and so much confusion in that same bite. You're, you bite it and you, you want to be mad because yuck, right? Because yuck, but yet you can't help but go back for another bite. Not to say I'd ever do it again. I would ever combine these mayo I would ever combine the spam. I would ever combine the Oreos with the Not to say I'd ever do it again, bud. Oh, this is rough. This is definitely out of character. Because having that spam, like I said, spam always lets you know that you're not broke, broke, but you broke enough. And then Oreos, nobody could afford spam and Oreos back then. If you was broke, broke, you couldn't. Is it one or the other? And Oreos was a delicacy. So, one or the other. What you finna do? You want the delicacy or do you want spam? The spam gonna hold you down. We're gonna cut it up a little bit. What you wanna do, right? However, however, you get to get it freaky, freaky, freaky with the broke down bologna and ham spam and your delicacy Oreos. Combine the two together and put some slaps of mayo on there to help us slide down with ease. Now you tell me what you fitting to do with the Spam Oreo sandwich. China repping with at their McDonald's for one day. 
400,000 of these Jones out there. Boop, 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 popping. Let me know what you fear to do. I'm going to give it a two. I'm going to give it a, because again, I don't love it. I don't necessarily hate you. I do not love you. I won't do you again. You're going back on the hood plate. That's where you belong. And that's what it is, family. So, uh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, you might as well say, could you be mine? Would you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you be? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Take a bite, neighbor. <laughs>